uh, video, I'm going to show you how to resize an image inside your Dynamics Pro uh, using a program called Canva. Um, I'm going to use landing pages as an example in this one, but you could also do it inside email templates, uh, wherever you're wanting to resize an image. So um, basically, you're going to click on landing pages for this example. Now, of course, you might be watching this video and you need to resize an image in your website, whatever it may be, any type of resizing the image. I'm just going to use landing pages as an example. So I'm going to go into this landing page called Home Buyer Class. And then down here at the bottom, you'll notice that there's these placeholders right here, 250 by 75. Uh, now, you don't have to have uh, this exact uh, size of an image. Um, this is just the optimal size for this particular landing page. So, But if you want to get the image exactly at 250 by 75, we're going to click on um, Edit This Page to open it. And then uh, I'm just going to go over here to this first column, which is this one over here. And... I'm going to open it up, and then here's the image right here. Now, if I wanted to get exactly 250 by 75 um, for this image or any website image, um, you could use a program called Canva. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, I'm going to open up a new tab, type in canva.com. And right here, um, it'll say publish anywhere, uh, design anything, publish anywhere, create an account. It's free. So it is a free account. So um, I'm going to use actually I think this is where you put your name yeah the name I'm sorry and you can choose small business you do a personal account whatever you want to do so I'm just gonna put small uh, small business and then sign up with email or it looks like you can choose Facebook or Google and I'm just going to use this demo account that we have. Click on I'm not a robot for the box. Choose anything that has a storefront. And then once it has that check mark, create your account. It says I already created one for this one, so let's use another one. And then this says uh, you can send invites to other people if you like. I'm just going to skip this and then start your first design. You can just select whatever you want. See if I get X off here. No, I can't. So I'm just going to choose one. And then I'm just going to click on the home page because I don't want to choose that particular one. I want to do a custom dimension. So basically what I'm wanting to do is I want to make a uh, resize at 250 by 75 to fit that. So up here in the top right hand corner, you should see custom dimensions. 250 by 75 and then create new design. And then, so right here gives you the exact box of 250 by 75. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the left-hand side, find this Uploads, and I'm going to Upload an Image. So Upload an Image. And here's the image I'm wanting to place in the 250 by 75 pixel area. So I'm going to double-click on it. And then uh, once this bar is gone, it means it will fully download. And if I click it, it's going to drag it into this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the corners of this I'm going to, until it has this little arrow so you'll notice these corners and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it up to the top till it meets the top line and then I'm going to go down to this corner and I'm going to drag it until it reaches the bottom and then what I want to do is I want to center it up so there's some blank space which means that um, this is 250 by 75 pixels high. So this is 75 pixels high, but if you stretch it out to get to 250, you're going to lose some of it. It's going to have to crop it out. So that's why there's some blank space beside of it. All right. Now what I want to do, like I said, I want to drag it till that pink line centers it. And then now if I go up and down, I want to wait until it uh, 
has a cross in here, so you got to kind of find where it meets in the middle. Might have to. Maybe I made it too big. There we go. Look center for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download up here in the top right hand corner. I'm going to click download, and it's a PNG image. You can choose JPEG. Um, or a high quality image. I'll just use the high quality download. Preparing your design. There we go. And now you just you choose a folder that you want to uh, download it in. And if you're on a Mac, you got to be careful. You got to leave that .png extension on the end or it'll mess it up. So I'm just going to put Canva image for this particular one. There we go. And I'm going to go back. And then now um, I'm going to replace this placeholder. So again, I want to click it until it highlights or I click it and kind of drag it around a little bit until it highlights, until you see these little boxes in the corner. And then I'm going to choose insert image and it's going to insert an image in replace of that when I have it highlighted. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to upload local machine and then I'm going to find my image which I named it canva image.png so I'm going to click on it, choose and then now you'll see it's checked so you can either click the image or click insert and there it is. It uh, went ahead and got the exact size. So I hit save and close. And then it's the exact size.